Hi, and thank you for joining me in this new episode. This time, we're in Fort Lauderdale, and I'm gonna take you uh, with me to see what's going on at this boat show. So this is my first time in, at the Fort Lauderdale boat show, and I must say I already noticed some big differences with, let's say, the Monaco Yacht Show. Here you have fishing gear, and the most important thing, well for me, is that there's heaps of food here. You can eat everywhere. Right now we're standing in the stand and I'm standing here with Farouk Nefsi, who is our marketing and brand director. Farouk, why should people come and uh, come by our stand? Well, there's one big reason, um, and that is this, this industry is all about fun. And the fun factor is totally uh, being immersed in the Fetchup DNA. So come and test your DNA. Yeah, you can, you can see do that, that behind, right behind us. Right? And you can discover your own characteristics in the form of a mood board. What I mean with that? Just come over and see it. You come, you... Just come, never mind. What she's saying is, <laughs> please come by just and come, visit us. Just come by and visit us. So also here in Fort Lauderdale, you can design your very own fat chip. And right now, Connor is designing one with our designer, Jan. And I'm gonna see what they think of it. Connor, how was it? It was awesome, it was amazing. What kind of boat did you design? So my inspiration for the design was, uh, I started with Savannah, um, and then I kind of went to Faith, and what other books did we kind of uh, pull from? We talked about Joy and, yeah. And Venus with the Hidden Domes. A Tender Bay, uh, Big Beach Club, yeah. Big Beach Club. Big Beach Club. So Four. she will be sailing the seven seas someday? She will, yes, yeah? for sure. So right now I'm on my way to the House of Fetchip, which is always located a little bit further than the stand, um, with our own buyer 55 uh, to see what's going on there. So right now I'm standing in front of the House of Fetchip, a place where we invite our owners, have dinners, cocktail parties and do business. And normally you're not allowed to get in, but I've granted access to show you what's going on behind closed doors. So another fetcher we're gonna have a look at right now is the Vrouw Christina. And I'm gonna tell you already that she doesn't really look like the fetch ships we build nowadays. And that's because she was built in 1957. Yes, she's part of our fetch ship heritage fleet and uh, we're gonna have a look around. So right now I'm inside the Vrouw Christina and I'm standing here with the owner. Yes, my name is Hanneke. Hi Hanneke. And she's gonna tell us something about the boat. We bought a boat in 2002 in St. Martin and we had a major refit over there and we start sailing in 2004 for a little bit more than six years. And where did, well, where did you go the first time? Oh, we started up uh, to the, uh, from the upper islands in the Caribbean and uh, we did the intercoastal waterway of the, of the, the east coast of the United States way up to uh, Canada and back we went to Cuba, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala. You can say she's yeah. traveled a lot. Yeah, she traveled a lot. <laughs> she's absolutely. been around the world. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Uh, the outside of the Frau Cucina is really very traditional. It's a sea chow, the whole setup of the deck and all the hatches. The original teak from 1957. It's still on? It's still on. You can see the part and with the fishes and the upper structure. It's all the original teak and that's very beautiful too. Yeah, how, how, how do you make sure you maintain it well? A lot of work. Yeah, right. A lot of work. When you finish varnishing, <laughs> yeah. you have to start, start all over yeah. again. It's, it's a year. When you're up front, you can go back again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You start all over. So in Monaco, we had our first uh, party of the year and we always do a second one during the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, which is today, and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like up here. 